Hi, my name is Dan Svoboda, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial in Paint X from Cormelt. And I have this little testimonial man on the street style video that we color graded in my last video. And I want to use Paint X to remove the logo in his hat and on his shirt, which is something that a client in this type of video would want if it's a competitor's logo or, you know, so just something like that. So again, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my clips. I'm going to go over here to my effects browser, and I'm going to double click Paint X to add it to all of my clips, and then close my effects browser down. So I'm going to go over to my inspector. I'm going to click the Open Editor button, and that's going to open the Paint X interface. In the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to set my zoom to 200% so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And what I want to do is I want to remove this logo from the hat. Now I know that with this shot, because he's moving a little bit, I think it's going to be best to start from the end and track backwards. So uh, I already have my clone stamp selected. Let me move the shot just a little bit in the window. Have my clone stamp selected. Uh, I do like this brush size that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Option down and click to define my source. And now I'm just going to click and drag to sort of paint out this little logo just like this the top here bring my brush size down like that like that and like this all right so now that that logo is gone, I'm going to select the layer in the layers list over here, and then I'm going to track backwards. Very cool. I did not see any errors. Uh, now I'm going to move the image down a little bit, and we're going to take care of the logo on his shirt. So I'm going to name this layer hat. Make a new one, call this shirt, click, with my clone stamper selected, define my source, hold option and click, and then just kind of drag it along, like that. Select the layer and track forward. It, I did see it poking out just a little bit over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my tool in the layer list, and I'm just going to increase the size, just like that, and now it's completely gone. I'm going to hit Save Changes, and now you see if I play this back in my timeline, the logo is gone in both his shirt and the hat which is very, very cool to have that power in your editing system right in, in your timeline. Uh, so my next shot, again, go to the inspector, open up the window. It held my zoom, so I'm just going to move the image up to the logo. Select the clone stamper. I need a little bit more of a brush size. Define my source. And then just draw over the logo just like this decrease my brush a little bit get a new source paint out the top track forward and then track backwards Zoom to fit. It looks pretty good to me. Now we'll get the logo on his jacket. Name this hat again. Name this jacket. Grab my clone brush. 
zoom in a little bit. Decrease my brush size to find my source and then paint that logo out. And then we're gonna track forward. Zoom to fit, and both logos are gone. Save my changes, and then you can see in my timeline the logos are gone, which is very, very cool. So you can see with PaintX and the power of the Mocha Tracker that's built in that you have a whole new tool set to deal with these little problems that you might have in the videos that you're working on with relative speed and ease. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.